Hello and welcome to Aquarius Rising Tarot. This message is for Cancer. In uh, this message, we're just going to get into whatever spirit wants to talk about. So we will see what the cards reveal. I did my see, my you and them love readings at the beginning of. That's funny. We lead in with the Cancer card. Very interesting. Um, I did my You and Them love readings at the beginning of September. So for this mid-September, I'm just going to focus on the sign. Whoa. Um, sorry, these cards are just kind of taking over. They're all over the place. Wow, mm, well, we do have some love. <laughs> All kinds of things going on here. So, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and focus on the sign I'm reading for. So if you are interested in finding about, out about someone you are connected to, you can go ahead and check out their sign. I will be uploading all of these readings to tonight and tomorrow. That is... Uh, 15th, 16th, and then I will be doing love readings again um, towards the end of next week. So I'll just be watching for those. And these cards, my goodness, they really came out. Like it was almost distracting the way they came out. It's very powerful stuff. Um, I love that for the heart of the matter, we have the chariot. That is cancer. Like that... <laughs> If there's any question <laughs> about uh, who this reading is for, there's no question now. So <laughs> you lead with you. You are, you are seeing some, you are seeing some light. You are seeing some clarity. You are being inspired. You're being guided. You're moving forward. You're following your heart. This is just a very beautiful place to be. You're trusting your intuition. So that's what we have for the heart of, the heart of the matter there. I just love the way you come out so strong with, um, with Major Arcana in your own card. And what we have crossing you is the Eight of Cups. This is a pretty huge decision to leave behind some things, some things that you may have thought would have been fulfilling emotionally, some things you thought that you needed, some things you thought would satisfy, and they didn't. It didn't work, it didn't work. It just, things didn't work out the way that, that you had planned so much, the way you, way you hoped, but you, you're coming into this awareness that the real answers lie within. And you are beginning to go deep within to trust yourself, to trust your intuition. I mean, this is this is this is powerful energy just leading right into this reading. It's very deep, it's very spiritual. I see some beautiful love cards and some clarity and messages, but you are coming in like to this reading, just saying. I'm going within. I'm trusting me. I'm not settling anymore. I'm not putting up with anything that's not right for me. It's a very, it's a very beautiful place to be. And sometimes it's tough to make that decision. Sometimes it's tough to walk away from the things that aren't working out. Um, even if we're not really happy, even if it's not satisfying, even if it's not fulfilling, when we put a lot of effort into something, sometimes we just stick with it for effort's sake, just because we put a lot of time in. And right now, you're really feeling like it's time to let go. It's time to do what's meant for you. It's time to find your fulfillment in higher, better places that you don't want to settle. And you're going to go in within. You're going to find your clarity. You're going to find your truth. It's, 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 it's deep, but honestly, it's the perfect place to be. Because until we settle down all that stuff on the inside, until we really face what's deep within us 
and really trust our intuition, none of that other stuff we try to build really works out so well. Not until we really come from the heart, come from the place of just kind of what we came here for. Like there's something that in a sense that we came here for and you know it, you felt it your whole life that there's this reason, there's purpose, there's something higher, there's something deeper that, that you're here for. And you may have tried some different things to, to fulfill that, that, that need within you, that, that there's something that you're really meant to, but none of it quite did it. And then you come into this clarity, this awareness of who you are, what you want, and you go for it. And that's like, that's when everything begins to fall into place. And what happened to the deep past, like the deep past way back that is affecting all of this, this decision that you're making right now, is the hangman card. It's another major arcana. It's a very powerful card of having complete and total transformation. A new way of thinking, a new way of being, because for some reason at some point, spirit, source, kind of put put things on hold for you and, and put you on hold. And you had to you had to wait. You had to be patient. You possibly had to sacrifice some things that you that you really wanted or that you really intended. And you had to you had to trust. Like you had to really trust in source and really trust in yourself and and trust in a higher power that you were going to get through this time. Like this this is pretty challenging time. It's you felt like everything was on hold, like everything that you planned, everything that you'd, that you'd been trying to do. It all just, <laughs> Spirit just kind of put things on hold. And there was a reason for it. As frustrating as it may have been, a part of you just had this deeper knowing that it was okay. Like it was okay because there was a change that needed to take place, a change in the way you see, a change in the way you feel, a change in the way you approach life. So during this time, whatever it was, that just kind of everything just got sort of put on hold for you. Um, it really opened your eyes to really what you want, what you're worthy of, what you deserve. And so that's something like, and, and we're talking like the deep past. This is something, something way back, possibly some things you had to sacrifice, possibly some things you had to give up, possibly just for the sake of someone you love or something you had to do. You had to put something, something on hold or something was put on hold but during that time, you found a new way of seeing, a new way of being. And that's what's causing what is happening right now, which is this total enlightenment and this going after what you want, the energy. Like, it's there. You're moving forward. This, this hangman energy, that's old energy. You're not stuck anymore. You you realized what you need to realize and you are moving forward. In the recent past, we have the Page of Swords. I'm kind of seeing this as another person, someone that's kind of got their eye on you, someone that is interested in you, someone that is curious about you, someone that is that just genuinely wants to know you more, but they might not be coming straight out with that. Like they might not be communicating that. You could have had some things go, like some miscommunications or things go down between you and this other person. Like it's possible to the point where they feel a little on the outside and not sure if you want them to come back in. They wanna communicate, they wanna talk to you. Like someone's thinking about you, thinking about you. They want to talk to you, but they're not really sure they're going to be accepted. And it's quite possible it's because 
whatever happened between you and this person. And this is this is kind of recent, like whatever recent past is to you. That can be a year, that can be a week. But you had a big transformation, like a big transformation. And there may have been some people in your life that didn't really understand like the things that you had to do and the choices you had to make because of the things that you realized. And there could have been words, there could have been some miscommunications, there could have been um, possibly a breakup, like this could be someone that, um, that you were involved with in the past, but this person is seeing this change in you. Like they're aware, they're aware of this change in you. And they're wondering, like they're wondering if this is the right time, like this is the right time to come forward, if it's the right time to communicate, and will you even accept them? So it's something that happened in the in the recent past and in the upcoming future. It's definitely looking good for someone because you have the the six of cups. That's a reunion card. That is, I mean, it can be a new meeting uh, with someone that you've known through lives, past lives, a soulmate, a friend. But this is someone that you felt a deep connection to. It can be someone you haven't seen in a while or someone you haven't heard from in a while, but this person absolutely wants to come towards you. It's interesting because <laughs> these readings, I've, I'm doing these kind of general readings and if love comes up, I'll talk about um, love and if work's com work comes up, I'll talk about work. But <laughs> for you, I would definitely have to say, <laughs> This has a lot to do with love and a lot to do with um, communication and clarity and you attracting the love that you deserve, this kind, sweet, gentle love with someone who, who really gets you, like really understands you and really looks deeper into who you are, like looks past the surface and really wants to, wants to know you. Like this, this person really feels connected to you and you feel connected to them. What I'm curious though, is it is it the same person that just recently is trying to communicate with you and that you may have had, like you may have had words with this person, you may have had something, you may have had some difficulty. And what I'm curious is if this is the same person coming back in. You are gonna be re reunited. And for some of you, it's it's a good friend or a family member. Like you know what it is. It could be returning to seeing groups of old friends after, after being away for a while. Um, and the majors that we have here so far, this is uh, this is Pisces for me. So, and as I said, the chariot is Cancer, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy here with the Eight of Cups, Page of Swords. That is Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy, and once again, the uh, Six of Cups. We have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy, and more of this air here. <laughs> As, which is the Libra Aquarius. We have um, we have the Hermit, which is Virgo, Hierophant, which is Taurus, and then the Ace of Pentacles, which is Tur Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So just to kind of go over, but the majors we have here are Pisces, Virgo, Cancer, and Taurus. So if that, if that helps, it doesn't mean that somebody needs to be that sign, but these are energies that are going around right now. But I I'm trying not to make these readings too long. I accidentally made the Aries reading a little long, but I really wanted to keep these generals a little bit shorter so that I can have time to get the, some more love readings out to you. But I really want to know if this Page of Swords is the same person in this Six of Cups. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For someone, for someone definitely who is watching this, you're gonna know exactly who this is, and this is the this is that person. We have the lovers. Um, that's a card of Gemini. Um, strength. That's a Leo card, and then we have the Nine of Wands. That is Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries energy. The, we have two twin flame cards, soulmate, divine connection cards here. 
and this is definitely a, a deep connection. For some reason, this person is feeling on the outside here and they're really trying to think about how to kind of communicate their way back in because um, swords are all about thoughts and communication. You also feel this, Cancer. You feel this connection. You feel this person. But they, they are a little bit torn because this person is guarded. This is the Wounded Warrior card. Like, they've been through a lot. You've been through a lot. You both might be a little guarded with this coming up. With the strength, sometimes it means almost like trying to hold back your emotions because your almost, um, emotions can be almost like overwhelming. But there's also a sense of learning to balance and accept your emotions. So I feel like there's... There's been some there's been some hurt um, on both sides, and I'm not sure if it's in this connection or if it's different things that you and your person are dealing with from the past. But this is coming in strong as um, as some <laughs> some relationship stuff. That is for certain. And if this is someone that you haven't met yet or aren't aware of yet, someone is definitely thinking of you. Someone has their eye on you. That is for certain. And a lot of it has to do with you just coming into so much clarity. And I've seen this all night. Like something has happened to cause people to just light up and really know themselves and really know what they want. And that clarity, it's like a lighthouse light, like going out into the, into the ocean. And this person who's thinking of you, it's like they're, they're drawn to that light because that clarity is, uh, that you're having about yourself is sending out a signal like so bright. And it's drawing, it's drawing your person to, to you. So someone's gonna be return. There's gonna be some communication. There's gonna be some sweet, <laughs> sweet communication, a desire for a reconnection, but it's gonna have to, if this is someone from the past, it could be someone completely new that you've known through lives, but if it's someone from the past, it's gonna have to come through with a whole new way of being, a whole new way of thinking, a whole new way of communicating, a whole new way of seeing this connection. They are gonna have to come towards you with, with a new mindset because you have a new mindset and you, you just aren't gonna click unless you're both really thinking of this connection in a new way. I see a new beginning in communication and I see you not settling for, I, don't, I see you not settling for anything else than like full emotional fulfillment. So, Definitely see some communication here, and so this is this is the near future. This what's uh, this what is crowning your reading is that six of cups that's being reunited with someone, and the near near future is a new beginning in thought, a new beginning in communication. Um, it can be new beginnings also in study and work and things like that. Like you know, if you're setting out on any kind of new path. But there's a lot of relationship coming up here, and I and I feel like you've done a lot of healing and 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 gone within and 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 discovered who you are and what you what you want and what you were looking for, and that clarity is is drawing boy drawing someone to you that really can't think of, about much else like they really think about you a lot. So how you see yourself right now is a hierophant makes perfect sense perfect sense. You are finding your balance. You're feeling ready for something, something more, like a higher level of commitment. And you are, you're knowing who you are. You're accepting that you can be yourself, but also be, <laughs> be accepted by family or in, oh my gosh, my cat wants in. Give me one second. I'll be super quick. I don't want to pause and lose this momentum. <laughs> Sorry about those guys. That guy's, this guy just wanted to come by. I don't know that he'll stay, but he wanted to come in anyway. <laughs> um, 
you're kind of finding your place in yourself and by finding your place in yourself you're sort of getting comfortable with your with everything this is just a, a real understanding of who you are this can be a teacher this can be a leader this can be someone that guides people it doesn't even realize that they're how much they're guiding and influencing and honestly inspiring the people around them but i also see you as feeling ready for like a higher level of commitment of ready to take things to the next level if someone comes in with this sweet message and a new way of thinking about about this connection about you the way that others are seeing you is the two of pentacles I'm kind of seeing this, not all of these readings have been so much about relationships. This one is in a lot of ways, but it's also about you just, just finding you, owning you. But I feel like your person is seeing you as, as someone that, um, that, that they're connected to. I'm just seeing this infinity symbol and it's popping up here in this strength card. This is, these are just these connections that they're always sort of present in our life and someone's just coming to this big awareness about you and about this connection. They're also feeling like you have some, you have some decisions to make. They're seeing you as having a lot on your plate, but they're seeing you as being balanced and handling things really well. But they may feel like you're... <laughs> They're gonna come in and, and present this offer and ask for this, ask to ask to be together, ask to make an have a new way of being together. Um, and they might be waiting on your decision. Like it might be as simple as that, because the two of pentacles is it's all about decisions. But they're seeing you as balanced. They really are and very capable. So, in your hopes and fears, this is an unusual card to see in the hopes and fears. It's the Ace of Cups. One of the others had an ace in there in this similar position. And the way I see it, I know that you're that you're hoping for this Ace of Cups. I genuinely believe that someone is coming in with this Ace of Cups. I think the fear, you don't fear this Ace of Cups. You don't fear being loved. You know you deserve to be loved. You fear, in a sense, like you're afraid to hope or believe that it could possibly be this good. That's, I mean, I feel like that's what it is. The Ace of Cups is a beautiful, overflowing love. Like someone is, is like crazy about you. They just, it's just overflowing. They think about you. They want to be with you. They feel like you're the one. And with you, you're hoping for that. You want that. You want that love. But it's also, you're almost like afraid to believe it's possible. Like it's almost like a too good to be true thing. But with all this awareness about who you are and moving forward, I think you know it's time. I think you know it's time for this Ace of Cups. I think you know it's time to just be loved so completely, so inclusively with so much understanding and communication, like all the way in. So for our outcome here, there's kind of two outcomes in this kind of reading because this is what's coming up in the future. Um, we have the, the Hermit. This is a card of Virgo. It is someone who goes deep within. And I see you doing that. I feel like everything that's happening in this connection has given you a lot to think about. This may even be someone you you may have walked away from in the past because they weren't they weren't treating you with this 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 ace of cups and you knew who you were and you knew what you deserved. You may have walked away 
And if this person is coming back in and wants to talk and wants to try again and genuinely believes that you're the one, like really believes you're the one, you're gonna have to go within and decide what you want, how you feel. And you're the only one that knows. I feel like they're saying really strongly with the hermit that your family, your friends, uh, you know, the people around you, like you can go, you can talk to people, you can get advice, but nobody knows it like you know it. There's a part of you that knows better than anyone else like what this connection is and what is right for you. And this is deeply spiritual, deeply spiritual. The Hierophant and the, the Hermit. This goes beyond like <laughs> relationships, connections. You are being called. You, <laughs> oh, I just saw these two cards together and this reading just took such a powerfully spiritual turn. Like I can feel my third eye just lighting up somebody is awakening and ascending and coming into the truth of who they are, the gifts they have and what they have to offer. You're being called to teach. Whoever it is, I know this is specific. And to teach, that doesn't necessarily mean it can mean like a teacher, somebody who works with uh, with others, um, kids, adults, whatever. Um, it can mean teaching by being. Some of us are, are like gatekeepers for new earth and the people that we come into contact with just by being who we are, just by being centered in ourselves. Like we shift, we help shift their energy into their, into their, their higher energy. And you are, you are being called in. Somebody specific is being called in to really look at their spiritual gifts and really own that. You have, you have these gifts, you know who you are. You have these gifts and spirit is calling you in. Um, as you really know and own like who you are and what these gifts are, and you start actively doing what it is you really, you really came here to do. And this, the rest of this stuff just comes easy. These are beautiful love cards. Everything that happened in the deep past with this hangman card, whatever you went through, whatever you had to let go of, whatever you had to release or wait or whatever, it was pinnacle moment for you. It was absolutely imperative for the enlightenment that you have now that you are going to be able to go back and help others with what you learned during that time. And you know that. And as you do that, as you own that, there is, you are connected to someone. I, some of you have met them, some of you have known them, but some of you, some of you feel them, feel that connection out there. You are connected to someone who the more you own who you are, who you are, Cancer, the more they feel you and the more they're drawn towards you. And it's like everything comes together, comes together all at once. You have this awareness about these very incredible spiritual gifts or or just your true path, with whatever it may be. It may be something creative. It may be something in... You know, in any area of your life, in relationships, and families, or whatever, but there's something you know about you that maybe nobody else really, really gets, but you know it. And as you own that, and you act that, and you walk in that, you draw, like this love, you just draw it to you. So... That reading just, just kind of blew me away. Oh my goodness. I do hope that whoever was meant to hear this hears it and knows that there is love. They they are you are. You are being guided. You are owning your truth. You're owning your clarity. You're owning your wisdom. And everything else just unfolds as a natural as a natural consequence of you realizing the truth and the beauty and the depth that is you. I don't know, it, it's, it all just goes hand in hand. So 
I hope that made sense. I hope <laughs> that spoke to, to whoever needed to hear it. I want to thank you all so much, everyone who has subscribed, liked, commented. It has been a blast connecting with you guys. Um, I will be coming out with the love readings, the specific love readings, though this had a lot to do with love. Um, later in the month, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love if you would. If you're interested in a personal reading, look a little deeper into anything you saw here that moved you. My website is AquariusRisingTara.com. I'd love to connect with you. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you soon.